with a mid-range processor, a fast charging system, a high quality display and a capable primary camera. The OnePlus Nord 2 T 5G seems to have everything one could ask for in a mid-range smartphone. Starting from Rs. 28 triple nine, the OnePlus Nord 2 T 5G also looks distinctly OnePlus and premium. But does it perform as expected and how does it stack up against competing smartphones in this segment? Let's find out. The OnePlus Nord 2 T 5G is available in two variants. There's the base variant with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage that's priced at Rs. 28 triple nine in India and a high-end option with 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage that is available at Rs. 33 triple nine. The phones are available in two finishes, a greenish jade fog and a matte black color called grey shadow. If you are familiar with the OnePlus Nord series, you will notice that not much has changed with the Nord 2T 5G in terms of design. This is mainly because you are looking at the first T model in the OnePlus Nord series. And as with every OnePlus T model, the focus is mainly on internal hardware and not cosmetic design. With the Nord 2T 5G, these changes are mainly around the back. The camera module now has two large circular cutouts, one of which houses the primary camera and the second houses the ultra-wide and monochrome cameras. The layout looks neat and unique but the module protrudes quite a bit, making this phone wobble when placed on a flat surface. I received the 12GB RAM option in the shadow grey finish. It has a shiny polycarbonate frame and an anti-glare glass back with a smooth matte finish. It has a weighty premium feel to it and I'm glad that OnePlus has retained the alert slider on this phone after removing it from the more expensive OnePlus 10R 5G. Unlike the rear panel, the frame gathers fingerprints but the chrome finish also makes this device easier to grip. The Nord 2T lacks an IP rating which is a feature that we've started to see on some mid-range smartphones this year. The 6.43 inch AMOLED panel remains the same as before. It features the same 90Hz maximum refresh rate and also packs an HDR10 Plus certification. The display produces mostly saturated colors at the default vivid color profile and appear bright and sharp when watching movies and playing games. However, the phone's ambient light sensor always dims the display a bit too much when using it indoors, forcing me to crank the brightness up after unlocking the phone. As for the HDR10 Plus certification, it wasn't of much use as streaming apps such as Netflix did not detect the display as HDR ready. HDR content viewed on the YouTube app also seemed to show color banding, but standard definition content looked sharp and showcased deep blacks. The software experience with Oxygen OS 12.1 and Android 12 is typically OnePlus, but I noticed an odd omission. The Nord 2T 5G is devoid of live wallpapers and only comes with 6 static ones. There is a whole collection of static OnePlus wallpapers that can be downloaded from the theme store, but you will have to sign up with a OnePlus account. In terms of support, OnePlus claims to offer 2 major Android updates and 3 years of security updates, which is good enough for a mid-range device. There is also minimal bloatware and the only third-party app that came pre-installed was Netflix. Gaming performance was quite good and the phone did not get too hot while playing taxing games. I had tried out Call of Duty Mobile and Asphalt 9 Legends and both games ran smoothly at their respective default settings. Maxing out the graphics in both games did not cause any drop in performance either. The display's 180Hz touch sampling rate seemed sufficient for playing fast-paced FPS titles. Battery life on the OnePlus Nord 2T 5G was quite good overall. The phone lasted 2 days with casual use which included some gaming. Her HD video loop test lasted 22 hours and 55 minutes which is again very good. The bundle charger managed to charge the phone's 4500mAh battery from 0 to 55% in 15 minutes and charged completely in 30 minutes. The OnePlus Nord 2T 5G has 3 rear cameras. There's a 50MP primary camera with the OIS, an 8MP ultra wide angle camera and a 2MP monochrome camera which is mainly used for gathering depth data when using the portrait mode. Selfies are handled by a 32 megapixel front facing camera. Photos taken in daylight came out sharp and clear with decent dynamic range but had less detail in darker areas. The 2x digital zoom was surprisingly useful and captured clear shots provided there was enough light. The ultra wide angle camera captured photos with less detail and photos also had noticeable purple fringing in brighter areas. There is no dedicated macro camera but I managed to get some good close ups of flowers from a distance and they look quite sharp. Selfie portraits also appeared sharp and had good edge detection but with limited dynamic range. In low light, the ultra wide angle camera captured photos that were mostly unusable. The primary camera managed sharp photos with good detail and dynamic range but its performance was not consistent. Night mode captured images with better dynamic range and lower noise but they still appeared a bit over sharpened. 
The OnePlus Nord 2T 5G's video capabilities max out at 4K 30fps, and it has the best details, a steady bitrate, and good stabilization at this resolution. Low light 4K videos were better quality than 1080p footage, which looked a bit soft with a noticeable shimmering effect when walking. OnePlus Nord 2T 5G is priced starting at Rs 2899. Delivers everything most users would want in a mid range smartphone, and that's about it. It doesn't go above and beyond to deliver something more or add any exceptional value. Everything is within limits, for example, a strictly mid range processor, the camera selection with no macro capability, and the display which is limited to 90Hz. But whatever this phone does, it does fairly well, and that makes it a decent all rounder at this price point. Because of this, the new Nord faces plenty of competition. The Ico Neo 6 has a more powerful Snapdragon 870 SoC, a 120Hz similar display, a bigger 4700mAh battery, and a macro camera, but it's priced starting at Rs 2999. There's also a Realme's 9 Pro Plus 5G, which has a capable dimensity 920 SoC, the same primary camera, a macro camera, and a similar 90Hz AMOLED panel as the Nord 2T, but starts at Rs 2499 for the 6GB variant. And if you are willing to stretch your budget by an additional Rs. 4000, there is a Nothing Phone 1 with better features such as wireless charging and an IP53 rating. I am Sheldon Pinto, thank you for watching and let us know what you think about the latest Nord in the comments below.